Mr. Fuhrer over the proposed fur ban has council speaker and avid animal lover Corey Johnson saying implementation should now be phased in over three years so that people don't have to go cold turkey and to allow time to retrain the workers. People that make fur garments have a skill set. They can make clothes. They don't just make fur. They could make other clothes. And so if we gave uh, training for them to be able to move towards more ethical products, I think that would be a good thing. There's a problem with that, according to fur industry experts. They say there are no jobs in the clothing industry. They've dried up. Cut and sew has been gutted by 80 percent. They don't exist. There are no jobs to transitionalize into. If you were to walk between 35th and 40th, between 9th and 6th or 7th, you'd find shuttered shops. There's nothing there. We've offshored them. There's also a dispute over just how many jobs New York City would lose if the fur ban were to go into effect. Industry experts say the ban would shut down 150 small businesses, many owned by immigrant families, put an estimated 7,500 people out of work, and result in a loss of $850 million in revenue. Are you at all concerned about the, the jobs, the 7,500 jobs that could be lost? I'm not sure that number is accurate. I think there's a job number that was more. Uh, 1,200 jobs, but even 1,200 jobs, yes, I am concerned. We brought in an outside economist to go ahead and do the metric. It's 7,500 jobs, not 1,200. It's a bad idea. I mean, we, we shouldn't be just waking up one day and deciding a whole bunch of New Yorkers should be put out of business. Look, we can't have Broadway Joe without a mink coat, right? A vote on the fur ban has not yet been scheduled. The speaker says that's because the city council is preoccupied with the budget. In the Garment District, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.